Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here and today I'm going to be doing a little 4K video test between the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I want to compare the two cameras to see just how much the cameras have actually improved coming from the Galaxy S20 Ultra to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra because if you guys remember the Galaxy S20 Ultra was having a lot of camera problems in the beginning with that autofocus but throughout the time Samsung has pushed out a bunch of updates to improve the cameras and they have actually improved a lot but with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, they have been really, really improved. But I wanna see just how big that difference is or if there's even any difference at all. And I'm gonna let you all be the judges down in the comment sections below. Now, I will say with my experience so far with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I have definitely seen an improvement, but I wanna do this test because I wanna see what you guys think. So we're gonna be testing out both the front and rear facing cameras at 4K 30 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second. But before we get started, let me go ahead and give a huge shout out to the sponsors of this video, Subcase. Subcase make some very protective cases for your devices I mean I have done tons of drop tests on this channel using their cases on my devices including the new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and this phone still looks like brand new you can't even tell that I've dropped it especially when it comes to their most popular series the unicorn beetle series that case is going to give you the maximum protection for your device and then going over to their new series the exo series it's got a new cool look to it but still going to give you that maximum protection with pretty much any type of drop so I'll make sure to link my drop test down in the description below in case you want to go check that out. And if you find yourself interested in any of those cases, I'll make sure to drop a link for that down in the description below as well. So again, huge thanks to Subcase for sponsoring this video. But let's go ahead and get this 4K video test started. We'll go ahead and start off with the S20 Ultra. All right, so we are starting off on the front facing camera of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. 4K, 30 frames per second. What do you guys think? Going to pan around here a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk a little bit so we can also check out stabilization. Now, usually in this test, I'll do a nice little jog or a nice little run to really check out stabilization, but I kind of injured my back at work, so I can't really do any heavy movement at the moment, but I'll go ahead and do, you know, kind of a quick walk here. That should kind of give us an idea of what stabilization is gonna be like, especially for people that like to use their phone to vlog. Usually they're just walking around, talking to the camera exactly like I am right now. So let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know how well the mics are picking up my voice. I got some water running right here behind me as well. Let me know if it's picking up my voice over the sound of the water or if the water is kind of overpowering my voice coming through the mic. So go ahead and pan around one more time. Again, this is 4K 30 frames per second on the S20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check out the Note 20 Ultra. Boom, all right, so we are now on the Note 20 Ultra front facing camera recording at 4K 30 frames per second once again. Let me go and just walk a little bit here. Again, same thing. We'll check out stabilization. Let me know how well the mics are picking up my voice. If you think sound quality is better on this device compared to the S20 Ultra. I'm going to just walk around here a little bit. Try to walk a little bit faster. See what stabilization is like. Here we go. I'm going to pan around here a little bit. Beautiful view here, by the way. It's actually really hot. Not sure if you can see how much I'm sweating right now, sweating like crazy. But again, this is 4K, 30 frames per second on the Note 20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K, 60 frames per second. All right, so we are now at 4K, 60 frames per second on the front facing camera, again, on the Note 20 Ultra. What do you guys think? Me personally, I really like recording at 4K, 60 frames per second. I just like the overall smoothness of the video. You really get that smooth experience, but you know, it's not for everyone. A lot of people, most people like recording at 4K, 30 frames per second, or even 4K, 24 frames per second because it gives you more of that cinematic look to your video but sometimes i like recording at 4k 60 because in a lot of my video well some of my videos when i'm doing some b-roll and i like to slow the video down i'll record at 60 slow it down to 30 frames per second and then just render the video at 4k 30 frames per second and i get that nice slow motion effect a nice smooth effect that's one big reason i like using 4k 60 frames per second but this is it on the front facing camera let me go in and walk a little bit faster here check out stabilization then we'll go ahead and compare it to the s20 ultra there we are let me get the water in the background one more time with the sun directly behind me see how well the camera does there all right let's go ahead and switch it over to the s20 ultra all right here it is 4k 60 frames per second on the front facing camera of the galaxy s20 ultra which one do you think is better this compared to the note 20 ultra do you think there's a big difference in quality at both 4k 30 frames per second and 4k 60 frames per second now that you've seen both and are still seeing both right here i'll go ahead and pan around a little bit again how beautiful day hot day but beautiful day can't complain 
Go ahead and walk around here a little bit. Again, check out stabilization. Get the pigeon flying over there. There we are. So this is 4K. 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and check out the rear facing cameras. All right, so starting off with the rear facing camera on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, recording at 4K 30 frames per second. Just doing a nice steady walk here, taking a look at the ducks. Let me know what you think about overall quality. Looking good so far here in the viewfinder. Woo, feels good right here in the shade. Look at these little ducks. What's up, duck? There we are, let's go ahead and check out the water. Looking pretty good. Again, this is 4K 30 frames per second. I'll go ahead and walk a little bit here so we can also check out stabilization. And the cool thing about recording at 4K 30 frames per second is that you can actually use all three lenses. So we got the zoom lens here, zooming in at five times. Not the best quality, but it's there if you do need it. And then we can also use the ultra wide angle lens. So we can also switch out to that and get a wider view here. Look at that. So that's always something nice. And video stabilization is supported in all three modes. So again, this is 4K 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera of the S20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check out the Note 20 Ultra. All right, so here we are again, same thing, 4K 30 frames per second on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Taking a look at these ducks once again. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? And also let me know how well my voice is coming through the mics now that I'm behind the camera rather than in front of it. Now with this device, we can also use the zoom lens while still in video, as you can see there. Not looking too bad. And we can also use the ultra wide angle lens. Look at that. Now it doesn't look like it's the smoothest transition when switching in between lenses, but again, it's still nice that it is there, that it will allow you to do that without having to stop the video. So let me go and walk again, check out stabilization, do a little quick walk. There we go, pan around one more time. Again, this is 4K 30 frames per second. Which device do you think did it better? Let's go and check out 4K 60 frames per second. All right, all right, this is 4K 60 frames per second on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. What do you guys think, giving us that smoothness here? Let me go ahead and walk around. Take a look at these ducks over here. And again, this is all using nothing but a small handheld tripod. You can see it in my shadow there. <laughs> All right, still walking around here. What do you think about overall stabilization? Looking really good here on the screen. Can't wait to go back and watch this footage. Look at that. Now with 4K 60 frames per second, you can't switch in between lenses like you can with when using 4K 30 frames per second. I mean, you can still zoom in all the way out to 10 times. But look at that, quality is just, it's just not gonna be what it's gonna be when doing this at 4K 30 frames per second. So you might not want to do that. You'll probably just leave it on the regular main lens. But again, this is 4K 60 on the Note 20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and switch it up to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. All right, here we are, here we are. The Galaxy S20 Ultra recording at 4K 60 frames per second on the rear facing camera. Looking really, really good. What do you guys think? I personally, I've seen, I am seeing an improvement in these cameras since the first time I've actually got this phone and tested out the cameras. There's definitely been an improvement with all the updates that Samsung has sent out. Just doing a little bit of walking here to check out stabilization. Check out this park, look at that, beautiful. There it is, 4K 60 frames per second on the rear facing camera of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check out some night footage. All right, so this is the front facing camera on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, recording at 4K 30 frames per second. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and pan around here a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and walk a little bit more. We can check out stabilization at night. Like I said, 4K 30 frames per second, Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check out the Note 20 Ultra at 4K 30. All right, so here we are, same situation, 4K 30 frames per second on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra front-facing camera. How do you think it compares to the front-facing camera on 
the Galaxy S20 Ultra recording in the same mode. I'm going to walk this way a little bit. What do you guys think? How does stabilization look to you? I'm going to pan around here one more time. Now let's go ahead and check out 4K 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. Okay, so this is now 4K 60 frames per second on the front facing camera of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. What do you guys think? Walking in a little bit more of a darker area here. And then I'll light myself up right here. So you can see what that looks like. Go ahead and walk back this way. Again, this is 4K 60 front facing camera on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check it out on the S20 Ultra. Okay, so this is now 4K 60 on the front facing camera of the S20 Ultra. What do you think? How do the two compete? Is one better than the other or do they maybe kind of look the same? I don't know, here in the viewfinder, they kind of look the same to me. Of course, I'm gonna have to go back, watch the footage, throw some light on me again right here. There we go, let me go ahead and walk back this way. Again, 4K 60 frames per second, front facing camera on the S20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and check out the rear facing cameras recording here at night. Okay, so rear facing camera on the Galaxy S20 Ultra starting at 4K 30 frames per second. Now at 4K 30 frames per second, you can switch in between the zoom lens up to five times or the ultra wide angle lens without having to stop recording. So this is the ultra wide angle lens that you guys are seeing here. So we're gonna go back to the main lens. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of walking here. Take a look at this piece of artwork right here. Again, 4K 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. What do you think? What do you think? Let's take a look at these trees here. And there we are. I go ahead and walk out to the street again one more time. Let me go out here. And to the right. All right, let's go ahead and check out 4K 30 frames per second on the Note 20 Ultra. Okay, so here we are on the Note 20 Ultra rear facing camera, 4K 30 frames per second. Same situation here, right here in the intersection. And the same thing, we're able to zoom in if we want to. Or we can zoom out if we want to using the ultra wide angle lens. Let's go ahead and take it back to the main lens. Let's do a little bit of walking here. Take a look at that art piece one more time. Let's keep it going. So which one do you guys think is better with the rear facing camera recording at 4K 30 frames per second? Let's take a look at these trees. There we are and we're going to walk out to the street again just like we did with the S20 Ultra. We'll go ahead and pan to the right. All right, let's go ahead and check out 4K 60 frames per second. So here it is, 4K 60 frames per second on the rear facing camera of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Just gonna walk a little bit here, see what stabilization looks like and the overall video quality, of course, giving us a more smoother experience with that 60 frames per second. Going to go out to the street here where it's a little bit more darker. Kind of pan around. Absolutely no cars coming this way. I think I'm the only one out here now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go walk back this way. This is 4K 60 frames per second again on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's check it out on the S20 Ultra. Okay, so here we are, same setting and lighting situation for the Galaxy S20 Ultra at 4K 60 frames per second. Just doing a little bit of walking here. Check out stabilization. Video looking really smooth here in the viewfinder. Let me go ahead and walk out to the street where it's just a little bit more darker. See what that looks like. Going to pan to the left pan around to the right now if you see a little bit of glare going on I did clean the lenses before recording so I don't know why that's happening I guess it's just something that happens <laughs> let's go ahead and walk back this way again 4k 60 on the rear facing camera the s20 ultra this has been my quick low light comparison between the s20 ultra 
and the Note 20 Ultra. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, so there you have it. My little 4K video test between the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. My goodness, am I sweating out here. It is hot. I really put in work for this video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one to come in the near future. But I wanna know what you guys think. Which device do you think did better when it came to both 4K 30 and 4K 60 on both the front and the rear facing camera? Camera. really curious to see what you guys think me personally just by looking at the viewfinder when recording the videos the note 20 ultra did look a little bit better but the galaxy s20 ultra also did really really good now i haven't went back and watched any of the footage yet so i still gotta do that so really curious to see what it's actually going to look like when i go back and watch it but again leave your comments down in the comment sections below and if there's any other type of video test or camera test you want to see just drop a comment and i'll make sure to take that into consideration but you guys thank you so much for watching this video again if you did like it make sure to leave a huge thumbs up if you did like it and find it helpful again don't forget to subscribe and check out our sponsors of this video once again down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you on the next one peace out